Hinkley Point C is phenomenal. I think I find Hinkley Point C hard to describe. It's a huge project to construct two nuclear plants. So many companies working on it, and it's just a ginormous project. It's so gargantuan. I think the use of Tecla has really helped us gain a good understanding of just the, of the size of the project initially, especially when you consider some of the models have you know, 100,000 uh, RC bars within them, 900 different shape codes. Then allows us to pass them to Advance, our client who passes them to NMB, who passes them to um, Langerock, which gives the quantity surveyors a really good idea of the materials they need, gives them a good idea of lead times, so what's going to be needed then. Um, so I think Tecla plays a key role in ensuring just-in-time construction is met securely and properly. Tecla helps automate a repetitive task because we can put all of our requirement uh, information and properties directly into the model and with that we can automate all of the drawing productions which makes it faster but also safer by avoiding the human mistakes. <laughs> On Hinkley Point C we've got thousands of tons of steel and equally hundreds or maybe thousands of bar marks. It's very easy to just use multiple bar marks. Given the complexity of the buildings, you have multiple different types of bars and shapes. What we've been able to do using Tecla is to standardise the dimensions and size of bars so that a fabricator can almost pull a standard size of bar from a catalogue so they get very used to producing certain types of bars, allowing us to improve efficiency on site. Tecla has allowed us to work simultaneously in a really practical manner on this project. This has allowed us to develop a workflow sequence of ten and a half months from conception of a batch to finishing of the batch. Without Tecla and the model sharing capacity, this just wouldn't be possible. 3D digital engineering solutions like Tecla Structure integrates the engineering and the construction and it makes seamless because the uh, design results are being translated into the 3D models wherein uh, it can be used directly at the site with the help of the uh, highly buildable models and the highly coordinated drawings. So the Tecla software helps us uh, to solve a uh, construction issue directly very early at the detailing stage, design stage, in order to anticipate all the construction uh, problems. So now we sort of really embrace the philosophy of design for manufacturing uh, assembly. So what we can do now is we can understand exactly how this building is going to be put together from the offset and understand how we're going to maximise the opportunity to reproduce these designs over and over and over again. I think Tecla is a really good tool for quantity spheres, enabling them to accurately determine the required tonnage of steel and also the type of steel required. I've worked on projects now which are for not-profit organisations and all the way up into the Welsh Valleys where people are going through hundreds of bar bending schedules to work out the actual requirements of steel and Tecla allows you to do that at one click of a button. So I don't see how Tecla has any negative connotations at all when it comes to QS work. The Hinkley Point project is a fantastic uh, project to work on. Uh, it's totally unique uh, in terms of size. It's uh, the amount of structures to, to build and the budget to, to dedicate it to this project. When you see site and you see the pictures from site and the sheer scale, I don't think anyone can not be excited by the work that's being done on this.